take a look at this video, a weather phenomenon on Lake Michigan today. That video of a water spout just off the coast of Racine, Wisconsin. The National Weather Service said water spouts could be possible in that area today and storms move over the lake. Meteorologist Larry Maris here and Larry, those water spouts, how do they exactly form? Yeah, there are a number spotted out over the lake, especially off the coast of Wisconsin during the day today, and it's kind of what we call water spout season. This time of year when the water's at its warmest and we start to get the cooler air coming across the lake, it can produce water spouts. And I want to show you what happened this morning and through the early afternoon hours, because as you can see, there were a number of showers and thunderstorms that developed out over the lake from early this morning through about early afternoon. Afternoon. What was happening here is that the winds were converging right over the lake. We had winds off the, uh, out of the east off Michigan and then out of the northwest off Wisconsin. Those winds came together right over the warm waters of the lake and as that air converged over the warmer waters and when you look at the air temperature up at 5,000 feet, it's only 45 degrees up above us. So that's some pretty chilly air. And when you get that to interact with the warm waters of Lake Michigan, water temperatures in the 70s, that air down closer to the lake starts to rise and generates these showers and thunderstorms. It's kind of the same principle when we get lake effect snow, but in this case, this time of year, it's lake effect rain. So as the air rises, the rain forms, and sometimes that rising air can start to spin and form water spouts. And what's really interesting about water spouts is sometimes they form in what we call families. So there could be a couple of water spouts really close together out over the lake. Didn't see that today, but sometimes that happens. Now I mentioned the water spout season, September, October, and even early part of November. That's the time frame that we consider water spout season because that's when the lake is at its warmest and also the time frame when we get the colder air outbreaks to drift down from Canada. So that warm water combined with the colder air can produce water spouts this time of year. Now seldom do they ever move on shore, but they can. If they do, they do dissipate pretty quickly once they hit the land. But Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.